Welcome to Quick Pro. Your friendly ally to learn tally. He I am Sunil, a tally learner at Quick Pro. At Quick Pro, I discovered how to learn tally the easy and quick way. Before joining Quick Pro, I did not even know how to open tally. I was also scared of accounts. Now I can confidently use tally not just to write accounts. I can also easily generate various reports correctly and instantly. Various types of financial, stock and payroll reports. For myself, my seniors, my auditor, my banker, my tax and other authorities. This is an actual recording of my tally learning. I sincerely wish all you tally learners can benefit from my quick pro story. This session about company creation in tally will take an hour. It consists of various multimedia sessions mixed with revision quizzes. To go further, keep solving each quiz. Based on your final quiz course, you can also win a quick pro scholarship for the complete course of tally ERP 9. Sir, my name is Krishna Prasad. I am working for My Products Immigration Consultants as a executive sales. And uh, I have been asked to take up the job of uh, uh, maintaining the petty cash expense, uh, the day-to-day -day account things. Prior to joining this Tally Quick Pro course, uh, have you operated Tally software? Uh, yes, I have operated Tally software. Uh, so what is the Yes, I have been into many uh, like classes, maybe into uh, these are into workshops. 
that's all right. Uh, what did happen to you know? Uh, like uh, most of the times we need to sit uh, idly and we have to listen that. And sometimes you have to be very honest, you feel drowsy and all. But it didn't happen over here because it was quite interactive. Uh, the instructor was uh, like very much communicating. That I'd like to talk about it. And I'm looking forward to that. Hi sir, this is Tejas Vini. I'm, I'm from SGR College and I'm a commerce student, BA ECS. My experience about, about Tally was awesome. Uh, I, the first day itself when I started learning Tally, I, le I loved it. Yeah, Tally Quick Pro, I loved it. So now, now when I learn many things, I'm very excited to use it. So if I get any field or uh, any field to apply it or to do it, every, uh, how much I learn to my best extent, I think I can do it. Sir, I feel joining Tally. I have learnt a lot, sir. And when I can help my uh, fathers and business. Interest. Yes. Receiving interest. So, which voucher it will come? Interest. You are receiving by cash. So, which voucher it will come? Interest. So, what is the key for the sir? F6. F6. You are paying by cash. So, what do you will select here? Receipt or bank receipt? Cash. You are receiving by cash. Okay. Thank you. you are we are receiving what? Okay. Receiving interest by cash. So bank receipt. I'm saying only receiving interest by cash. Receiving interest by cash. Okay. I should do the receipt at cash. So what you will take here? You are receiving by cash. Cash. So what do you have to select here? Cash. Huh. This is only the credit card. Now what you are receiving? Interest. Interest. So we will create that. Hmm. Major account. So what do you have to do now? You have to escape again. Escape again. Shortcut is also there. First, be perfect in that, then I tell you the shortcut. Okay. Okay. Why you using one sir? Create company ledger. What is this? What is the reason for this entry? 
everything here, whatever account will be here, it will be either cash or bank only. We are receiving either no. cash, you are receiving by cash or by check. Okay. If you are making payment, you make payment by cash or by check. So here it will only come cash, cash and bank only. The other thing, what you are receiving or what you, in which form you are receiving the cash or in which form you are paying it, you have to give it in the next. Cash you are receiving in which form? In the interest form. Interest, okay. So, so give the amount. Now change the date also. You are not 14. Now why you are using this? What is the shortcut key for that? F2. This. Don't use this method going back, coming here and changing the date. Okay, okay. Why not? It will not accept it properly. Oh, okay. So use always F2 for changing the date. Yeah. So wherever we are, we, are, we can directly press, press, the, press the shortcut keys. Until you accept it, you can use any other F2. These are also shortcut keys. Now. These are all shortcut keys. Maybe 20th, 12th. Twentieth, twentieth, one, twelve. Twenty December. 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 Now. now what is showing here? Date of last entry is? 20th December. Yes, this is your last entry. On 20th December it shows when is your, when you have passed the last entry, which date. If you do the last entry on 21st, it will show date is 21st. 21st. You can easily come to know where you have stopped. Your future dates is giving you. Which one? No, to 20th December 2010 is yet to come. Yet to come means we have given we have passed the entry on 20th December. Today is not 20th December. So, but we have passed the entry on 20th December, now. We can pass the entry for future dates. Hmm. Future dates. We can do it for till March. Any, we can do okay. it. Okay. Oh, I mean, it's not say today. No, 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 no. Let's don't work with that. Term. So up till next uh, year, the financial 2012, year. 13, 14, you can go past the transaction for any year. Any year, any month, any day. So what is the use of that, madam? Uh, we can go beyond future also. Beyond today's date also, we can pass it. What is the use? Means, you if you are passing today, this you can pass today or give the today's date and pass the entry. Okay, for example, now suppose uh, every month I have to make interest payments. Hmm. So I can pass all the interest payments to uh, all month uh, uh, interest in advance and keep it. Why you sit only once in a day to do that interest? No, suppose I forget. So I will just uh, do my interest and keep it ready. So that next month I will not have to see that. No, uh, you can't do like that. Sometimes interest will change also. It won't be same always. No? Okay, that time I get But if you, what happens at that time you don't remind it, you forget it to change, then what happens? No, only when change is there automatically you can understand. Right? If you forget it to do? The bank's letter will follow. Like your interest is increased or decreased. Uh, so it's confirmed that in, on this date you are paying it. You start doing it in advance, so then I don't forget. I'm just thinking like that. Is it correct or wrong? Method is wrong. Method is wrong. But it is possible to do that. It is possible, but you can't do it. You don't do that. But you should not do it. 